Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I want to demonstrate how to apply and remove the StatLock securement device for patients with an indwelling Foley catheter. So let's get started. So we're going to get our StatLock device and take it off here and just open up the packaging. So here's the actual device itself. This is going to go on the inner thigh of the female. Now for male patients, the securement device is usually placed either on the top part of the thigh or the lower abdomen with the male's genitals positioned toward the abdomen. However, you always want to follow your facility's protocol for securement device placement. And then there's a skin protectant pad, which is going to be applied prior to actually putting it on. So let's put it on. So the first step of what you want to do before you place this on the patient is that you want to put this actual catheter in the retainer because we don't want to put this on the patient's skin and then clamp it shut it's not going to feel too good to the patient so we have the arrow see this arrow here it's pointing towards the insertion site that is where we want to go so we have the arrow pointing we're going to take the bifurcation of the catheter and there's this little part right here hanging off this white part it's going to just set in between this catheter right here see like that it's right there and then we're going to close it shut by pressing these little lines right here. We're not going to press in the middle. We're going to press those lines and it's nice and in place. Now we want to find a spot to put our stat lock. So make sure the patient's leg is completely extended and we're going to go on the inner thigh of the female and we want to go about right here, but we want some slack in this catheter line. We don't want too much or too little. So according to the manufacturer, they say pick your spot and then go back about an inch and that is about where you want to go. So you want to keep note of this because this is the area you're going to clean. We're going to clean this whole area with alcohol prep and then with skin prep. So I'm going to put my fingers here just to remind me. I'm taking my alcohol prep and I'm cleaning this area. I'm going to clean an area that's even bigger than that stat lock device. We want to remove any dirt and grime that is on this skin. And then we're going to let that dry completely. Now that that has dried completely, I'm going to take the skin prep and I'm going to clean that whole area again. But this is just protectant to protect the patient's skin because these stat locks stay on the skin for a while, especially if they're going to be having an indwelling catheter. And you want to change these stat locks out according to your facility's protocol. It's usually about every seven days. And while you're waiting for your site to dry, you want to put your initials in the date for when you inserted this so the person behind you will know when to change this out. Now that it is dry, we're ready to place the stat lock on the skin. So to do that, we are going to pull back one side of the adhesive and just place that on the skin, rub that down. Then we're going to pull the other back off, put that on the skin and then just put it down. And again, confirm your arrow is pointing toward the, towards the insertion site. And to remove this device, you're going to need several alcohol prep pads. First, what you want to do before you actually remove this adhesive is that you want to unclip this catheter from the clip in the device. So to do this, if you ever forget, it has instructions right here. You're going to push the sides in like that and it just pops off. Very easy. Then we're just going to lift this up carefully and just lay it right here and it shouldn't move and it'll be safe and secure there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our alcohol prep and it tells you here on the device, remove with alcohol. So you can start on either side you want. I'm going to start right here so you can see it. And I'm going to get this wet with the alcohol. And what this does is it neutralizes this adhesive that is on the patient's skin. So look, it's already starting to come up. So we're going to pull it up. And we're just going to keep cleaning the skin and cleaning the sticky part of the device. And it just easily comes up. We're going to do the same here. And just pulling slightly here as we clean the patch and the skin. And it just peels right off. This is so much more comfortable for your patient than coming over here and just ripping it off. It could literally rip off that top layer of skin. So there, it came off. Now what we will do is dispose of this. 